Hey guys, it's Brian with Jones in to go. Is it time to replace the awning fabric on your RV? Well, stick around. The folks over at Fonzie reached out to us recently and asked us if we'd like to review some of their fabric for awnings. So we're gonna not only review their product today, but we're gonna show you how to install it. Welcome back guys. As you can see, I've got a couple helpers again today. For those of you that follow us on a regular basis, you've probably already met Owen. Hi. And this is Jack, both two of my grandsons, and they wanted to help out today. And if you're going to be doing an install of a new fabric on your awning, you're probably going to need a couple of extra hands. I'm not sure what these guys are going to do today, but I'm sure they'll help me out a little bit. But the first thing that we're going to do is do an unboxing and show you the material that comes from Fonzie, what they send with it, We'll give you a look at what this material looks like before we install it. And I'll give you some of the specifications of some of the tensile strengths and things like that that go with this fabric. All right, so let's take a look and see what's in the box here. Oh, and you want to give me a hand here, pull that out and just set it right down in front of you. So you get the fabric, obviously. Uh, this is an 18 foot awning. So the fabric is actually going to be like 17 foot, two inches or something like that. Go ahead and set it down there, Owen. And you go ahead and see what the what's in there and then you're also going to get pull it out bud let's see what's in here another box in the bottom and it's going to come with a couple of of the um, the tie downs to put in the ground as well as some tie down straps and a pull strap so if this was a manual awning you'd also have a strap in there to, to manually pull it down with this being a power awning that we're going to be installing this on today we're not going to need that thanks buddy so let's take a look at the fabric Is there anything else in the box, guys? No. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it also comes with a patch. So, I mean, you guys all know if you've been RV and sometimes things happen. Branches come down, storms come up. So it does come with a pretty good size patch in case you need it. Okay, guys, so my first impression after getting this out of the box, it's a pretty sturdy material. And the one thing that I've noticed, you know, right away is you don't have that plasticky vinyl feel like some of the cheaper fabrics do and it looks like it's going to hold up pretty good. I'm going to just go over some of the stuff that uh, the company gives us as far as information. It does, they've engineered it with a better tensile strength. They say the tensile strength is like 409 PSI. That doesn't mean a lot to most of us, but basically what that means is it's going to hold up to the stretching and the pulling and if the breeze gets to you it. You can see it's all double stitched. It's a four layer and they, it is 100% waterproof. And what I like about it already is it's pretty pliable. So this is going to be easy to work with to install this. So we're going to go ahead and um, get some tools out and get ready to show you guys how to install this, how to remove the old fabric on the power awnings and then get this stuff installed. It shouldn't take long at all. And I know as an RV owner, when you think about a job like this, it sounds a little intimidating, but it's really not as bad as you might think. Okay, so as you can see, we have the awning rolled out about a foot. And from here, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna have to tie these arms off. So once we release the fabric, these arms are not gonna drop. So you can either use zip ties or any kind of a cord. I think I'm going to use zip ties because it's going to take, it looks like about four of them to do it, to get it around there. Okay, so it's going to be pretty easy to go through this, this bolt on the, on the RV itself and then just come around and tie this around the arm so that just holds this in place. So once we release the fabric, these arms aren't going to drop. And everything we do on this end, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite end. But there's really only two screws that we need to take out to remove this and it's going to be two screws on each end so we have one screw that's holding the um, fabric into the awning track on the rv itself and then we have hopefully you guys can see this we have one screw right here that's holding it into the motor or the drive on the on the arm of the awning so we're going to remove both of these on each end um, and the other end is an idle end. The motor is on just this end. And so I'm going to go ahead and get these things taken off. Okay, now that all the screws are out, I should be able to just pull this out of the arms. And how I'm going to do this right now is just take it off and lay the whole roller up on the roof so that I can go up on the roof and then slide it down and have somebody receive the roller on the ground. 
Okay, now all that's left to do to get this old one off, we've got to take this end cap off, which has three screws, and then we have one screw in the slot where the where the awning is going to slide into the to the roller. So we'll remove those, unroll this, and then just slide it out. Okay, as you can see, we have this new fabric all unfolded, kind of laying here in a pile. Um, but the new, the new fabric does come with a balance, and then we have two poly cords on the balance end. And, and we noticed, as we took the old fabric out, the poly cord was completely ripped away from the original fabric. So it was definitely time to get this replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and start feeding these poly cords into the tubes on the roller, and then put the screws back in, and then we'll get it rolled up and back up on top. Attempt to make your life easier, we're gonna use silicone spray and we're gonna spray the channels in this tube so everything slides in nice and easy and we're not fighting with it. So I'm gonna get this. Okay, so all we gotta do is take the two poly cords of this with the balance and slide it through the rails on the, on the tube. You'll have somebody kind of help keep things in line while you're pulling it down the tube. So that's where we're at right now. We're gonna get this put down and we'll get the screws to hold the poly cords in place done as soon as we get it all in there. This is where that silicone spray came in here. At this point, all that's left to do is to get this rolled back up on the roll tube, get it back in through the channel on the RV, and then back in the arm. So we're going to go ahead and roll it up as tight as we can and as straight as we can, and then get it back up on top. really not a whole lot involved with changing the fabric of the power awning. Um, it's just a matter of having enough hands available to help you with that long tube and getting things fished through. Once it's all back in, the, the biggest thing was to roll it in and out a couple of times to make sure everything was lining up right. I did have to um, slide it a couple of times up on top and pull some tension on it and I think we finally got it to where it looks pretty good now. And I think, I think the RV owner here is pretty happy with it. Okay hey guys, thanks for coming along with us on this RV upgrade. Um, as you can see, changing the fabric on your power awning is really not that involved. It's just a little awkward and you're going to need a few extra set of hands. And of course, I picked one of the hottest days of the summer to do this. And my little helper, as you can see, abandoned me right from the beginning. So I had to uh, recruit some new help, but we got it done. We got it put together. The RV owner seems to be pretty happy with it. And we're going to give you a good look at it. It looks really nice on here. And I think this fabric is going to hold up. Um, it looks pretty durable. Uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when something else comes up for the next RV upgrade or product review. I'm going to go ahead as time goes by, put some updates on how this is holding up and the first time the RV owner gets to wash it, how things, how things went, how well it washed up. And I'll put that in the description down below. So if you're watching this video and it's a month or two old, be sure and check the description below and see if there's any updates there and I'll try to put them um, down there anytime that the RV owner gives me some kind of feedback on how the awnings do it. So again, thanks for tuning in guys and we'll see you on the next video.